Hello and welcome to part two of my Salesforce knowledge series. By now I'm hoping you would have seen part one, but if you haven't, I would highly recommend that you watch that first by going to YouTube and search on this phrase, which will bring to this video of mine and this video lays out all the essentials including these six how to steps uh, along with an exercise which can help you set up your own Salesforce knowledge. In today's session however I'm focusing on some of the optional things that you can do to make your articles even better organized and more relevant. As an example you can classify your articles into certain data categories which allows your support staff, um, customers and community members to search your articles based on the associated categories and thereby giving um, more relevant search results. The second use case is that you can have your administrators lock down access to certain articles um, based on the associated um, data categories and their visibility mappings. So how do you classify your articles into certain categories? Well for that you simply select the article and edit and select the intended category group and the category and simply save it. Now as far as limiting access to certain articles goes you do that by roles, permission sets or profiles. So as an example in our case if you were to limit say access to knowledge user profile to only compliance and products groups you do that here again selecting the profile and then coming to data category visibility and editing the uh, visibility mapping here so in our case, if there was any article which is classified um, under sales, won't be visible to this profile. Now having said that, remember that unclassified or uncategorized articles are always visible to this profile. Now going back to step number 9 and 10, where I'm simply highlighting the fact that you can automate certain things on your articles by using your favorite workflow and approval processes. Um, as an example, in my case, I have created an approval process to auto-publish, as you can see, auto-publish an article as soon as the article has been approved and the way I have done is by using a pre-configured knowledge action right which simply says that for this article as soon as it's approved publish as new and then associating this knowledge um, action to um, this approval process right and again my intention is not to go over what an approval process is but rather focus on how to leverage certain knowledge actions and automate uh, this process similarly in case of your workflows I have created a simple workflow to send an email to knowledge managers as soon as a, an article is created. So in our case um, it's um, 
article type FAQ and when publication status become uh, becomes draft send an email so um, and you could also by the way create your own knowledge action when you're defining um, a workflow rule or um, an approval process if they don't already exist okay now the the next thing is uh, about empowering uh, your console agents uh, and recommend certain articles based on the cases that they are working on and remember from the prior tutorial if you go to knowledge settings and if you select this option for knowledge one it allows your customer agents to basically see a list of suggested articles as you can see in our case we are getting an article based on the case we are working on okay um, you can also by the way create or allow your um, support staff to contribute to the creation of articles when they are closing a case right and if they have found good enough information or resolution they can always do this save and create an article and remember this setting was done again at the time of defining your knowledge action rather settings and selecting this option okay and lastly you can have your community right contribute to to your knowledge base because you can promote certain replies to um, being articles so just to show you a quick example I have this community where if you go to Q&A and search unanswered or unsolved actually unsolved questions right somebody has replied to this question actually it's just me a fake reply and this is where you can promote this reply to being an article so this is what I wanted to cover uh, in this session so until next time, uh, please take care. And if you like this, uh, give me a thumbs up or give, send your suggestions to my email, email box at avi at 11concepts.com. Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye.